I know, more Cybertruck news. I can't help myself. I flipping love this thing. I'm Will. Welcome to the Tesla Jigsaw. This is the Cybertruck in New York City, parked outside for Ron Barron's investment conference with 5,000 attendees. If anyone was in doubt that we are entering a new disruptive era of electric vehicles, I think this Cybertruck makes that point well. Just look at the precision gaps and alignment all over. It looks incredible. A really strong fit and finish from all these angles. Credit to Jack Lipston on X for capturing this video. I hope the American truck market knows what it's in for, because this is about to transform it after just short of 100 years of pickup truck stagnancy. Honestly, what's new about any truck since Ford's Model T runabout? With the upcoming delivery event happening on the 30th of November at Giga Texas, that's rather soon, the Top Gear crew have been caught test driving the Cybertruck. Just like Tesla handed out the new Model 3 to certain channels and companies to give early reviews, Tesla are currently lending Cybertrucks to YouTubers and other influencers to film reviews of it for release after the event takes place. I was offered the chance to take it for a spin, but you know, I don't want my YouTube channel to blow up too quickly. You know, quality rather than quantity of subscribers. I thank you. And in some other amazing sneaky footage, Joe Tegmeyer, drone pilot extraordinaire, captured this lot. What do you call a group of triangles? I'm going to go with a tessellation of Cybertrucks. How about that? These are all parked outside Giga Texas, alongside something like 100 Cybertruck castings. I wonder just how many Cybertrucks will be delivered to folks at the event. I cannot wait. Am I the only chap in the UK that's excited for this? Let me know in the comments below if you are too. Well, I'm guessing you're vaguely interested, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, would you? So this has been shared, supposedly leaked information of dimensions and measurements. I'm not going to go through it all because you can see the ones you're interested in. What I want to point out is the Cybertruck is smaller than a regular sized Ford Transit van. 5.66 metres for a Cybertruck versus 5.91 metres long for a standard Transit van. And as for width, yes, the Cybertruck is a whopping 2.02 metres wide without mirrors, but a Ford Transit van including its mirrors is 2.47 metres wide. Why is this important, you might be asking? Well, I'll get to that in a bit. Here in the UK, currently under the same EU regulations, vehicles without side mirrors are allowed if there is another system enabling the same function, i.e. with cameras and screens. Could it be that by adding camera and mirrors, the Tesla Cybertruck can shrink itself somewhat to a reasonable width for our roads? Vans get around just fine, don't they? What's the big deal with having a few Cybertrucks on the road too? As a matter of regulation, the Cybertruck is way under the maximum width of 2.55 metres. So yes, it's big, but perfectly fine for those who want to drive around in a big beast. Just don't try to squeeze it into a normal car park. Not happening. Just like you struggled to park if you had a van. Other things worth mentioning on this list, the frunk is much smaller than I think most people expected. This is presumably because of that slightly stumpy front end and Tesla's usual pushed forward cabin space to maximise internal dimensions, as well as maximise that six foot bed space in the rear. Still, the front will be a very handy storage area and the only thing I could find with an equal 0.2 cubic metre storage area is this to give you an indication of size. I'm sure you'd still fit a body in there if you had to, just squash it in, shut it, be fine. The Ford F-150 Lightning's trunk is a whopping 14.1 cubic feet, which is 0.4 cubic metres, which is double that of a Cybertruck's. I'm not sure though that this alone will keep the F-150 Lightning at the top spot of electric trucks for long though. It's also a surprise to see no plug outlets in the front, just one in the rear containing two 110 volt outlets plus a 220 volt. Perhaps the production variety will include these in the front as a little surprise, along with hopefully a few other surprises. What would you like to see that hasn't been announced on the Cybertruck yet? The amperage of the 220 volt outlet looks like it says 2 kilowatts, so 2000 watts. So you could indeed charge another electric car for example, power your home to a certain level, very handy indeed. This is known as vehicle to load. So all manner of power tools, camping equipment, you know, even a washing machine, 2 kilowatts would give enough power to run roughly 50 laptops at the same time. Or 166 frog bubble machines. I'd say that's more bubbles than anyone needs. But who am I to deprive you of more bubbles? You go for it. I'm a little confused regarding the Cybertruck having an air compressor. Jeff Muella posted this question to Elon Musk a long, long, long time ago. If it's going to have air suspension, may as well make it a heavy duty air compressor to run air tools too. Elon responds with, wow, great idea. Since it will already have Tesla pneumatic system, it totally makes sense to add a utility port. But I don't see an outlet here. Or do you just plug in an electric air compressor and that's that? 
let me know what I'm missing in the comments below because, you know, I, I don't know everything or even some things most of the time. Which is a great segue into this next bit as I want to talk about the Cybertruck coming to Europe or more importantly, to me here in the UK. As it's long been my dream, well, I floated the idea around 10 months ago when I started this channel, dreams of becoming a successful YouTuber and one day buying a Cybertruck with a Cyberlander which would allow me to escape my family, I mean, go on business trips in the wilderness of Scotland and make videos on the go in my Cybertruck living quarters. Well, I'll be honest, it's not going brilliantly, but, you know, baby steps, I'm getting somewhere. All I need to do is convince regulators that Cybertrucks would be fine for the UK and then I'll be able to get one. How hard can it be? So what's the problem with having Cybertrucks here? Well, these stupid life-saving regulations, for one. There are safety regulations that present a considerable speed bump in getting the Cybertruck on sale in Europe. Because it's classified as a light truck in the US, it is exempt from certain safety rules, specifically surrounding pedestrian safety. In Europe, there aren't the same exemptions, and it would need to meet light commercial vehicle regulations, which are stricter. German safety experts TUV, or Technische Überwachung Chungs Verein, nailed it, who test the safety of motor vehicles, have estimated that Tesla would have to implement strong modifications to the basic structure before it could be sold this side of the Atlantic. It's also unlikely that Europe would represent a large enough market for Tesla to alter a vehicle that's already gone into production. Hmm, possible, but unlikely. So you're telling me there's a chance? Yeah, there's a chance. Let me point out a few things. Do you remember this beast that I filmed at Fully Charged Live up north? No? Well, check it out after this video. It's full of cool EVs. This Munro EV is available in the UK. This thing looks pretty rigid and unforgiving if you were to step in front of it. Does it not? Is it that different to a Cybertruck? What would you rather get hit by? A Tesla with active safety features that would do its best to avoid hitting you? Or this? Is there no way around these important European pedestrian safety measures? Which I assume to be mainly pedestrian crumple zones at the front. Mm, yeah, Cybertruck admittedly doesn't look very... crumply, does it? But, like all Teslas, if Cybertrucks are able to show advanced safety features such as taking over when an accident is about to happen, or when a pedestrian steps out in front of you, won't the likelihood of being struck by this steel lump of metal be reduced somewhat? Couldn't accident avoidance data be used to persuade regulators that Cybertrucks are indeed safer on our roads compared to most other vehicles? Hmm. And then there's zombies. I mean, if a zombie apocalypse actually happens and you need to run over them to get away and your Tesla's going, beep, 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 too many people, you're going to have your brains eaten in no time. This would render all Teslas useless at this point. All the dilemmas. And okay, the market currently for pickup trucks in the UK and Europe is rather minuscule, but the Cybertruck is different. It could well function like a family SUV does. It's got that retractable bed cover. Just treat it like a big estate car. Plenty of room for five adults, so a perfect family car. Four-wheel steering to get in and out of tight spaces. And it's not a mass-polluting dirty diesel, is it? Whilst I am a fan of small, sensible cars for our lovely, wiggly British roads, there's room in this country for a little diversity, is there not? No one has a problem with the odd van parked in a Sainsbury's car park, do they? Maybe we've been missing the pleasure of pickup trucks for all these years. I say, bring it on. Here's another solid reason we might need cyber trucks. If you're near Sherwood Forest and a modern day Robin Hood happens to be shooting arrows at you, you'll be safe in a cyber truck. I mean, how many good reasons do we need? Cyber trucks save lives. Let's start a campaign and get them into the country. Who's with me? Oh. On my own then. talking to myself again. What do you reckon then? Any chance we'll see Cybertrucks this side of the pond? Or will Tesla literally need to redesign the entire thing to be slightly smaller and less rigid? And would they even bother doing that when Tesla has one to two million pre-orders of these, which is at least five solid years of production? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. If you've enjoyed my content, please do like, subscribe, hit that little bell end and check out my other videos too. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw, thank you so much for watching, bye for now.